Hey guys, RC here, back with another tutorial version with Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2017. Uh, we have finished from the last uh, tutorial video. We've gotten to the start of the season. I've got a lot of emails, and I wanted to kind of touch on a few things in here. Practice begins. Okay, a lot of these are, now some of these are older. Now, let's go to the most recent one. All right. The, your assistant coach wanted to bring some attentions to you. Sean Redhage and Elton Weeks kept taking cheap shots. Okay, Redhage and Weeks. So we need to go to roster. Actually, no, we don't. Yeah, we can. Redhage. And I want to call him. Hey, coach, what's up? Uh, playing style, attitude. Stop getting in fights. So he's got an attitude. He's told me to drop it before he gets really mad. We're going to end call. Okay. We're going to go back to roster, and we're going to look at weeks. We're going to call him. Attitude. Stop getting in fights. All right. Okay, coach, it will take some time, I'm sure. All right. In call. You know, you got to touch base with them. So, and you can see we've, we've used up a little bit of time. Let's go back to the home page. Team incident. Now, call. You could also do that from here. So, you know, how how much you want to get involved in this? Up to you. You know, that's that's your choice as a coach. If you don't address it, maybe it gets out of control. If you do address it, maybe it breaks the team chemistry because by you getting involved. Um, there's no right or wrong way. It's really up to you. Red shirt reminder, I actually forgot to do that, um, probably should have, but I was going so fast to get to the end, I forgot. And as you can see, they've already assigned red shirts. If you ever want to assign red shirts, when you get that email, okay, again, that comes in uh, right here, the reminder, November 6th. Uh, last chance to do red shirts you go to your roster and you have the red shirt option right here when you click on a player if he's eligible to red shirt this will turn dark just like release is and you'll click on that and what will happen is next to his his year he will have a little r in parentheses just like that one remember those tips they like to give you uh, it's hard to see sometimes. I actually did not catch it for the first few times, and I was like, wait a minute, how do I know what happened? And finally, yeah, I, I looked at the tip and went, oh, there it is. So it'll show up in this column. So it'll say junior and then a little r in parentheses. Um, typically, you only redshirt freshmen and sophomores. Um I don't know if they can refuse a red shirt. They might be able to. Um, but anyway, we did not red shirt anybody this year. Back down to emails. So we're going to delete all that. But, you know, keep track of your emails every week. Like I said, I was speeding through this to get to the season. Um, so that's where you would actually call players about incidents. Your assistant coach notifies you of that. Also, Real quick, we're going to go into strategy, coach assignments. Remember we had changed him from scouting to practice because he was the better player developer. Now we are at the season. I want to send him back to scouting. And then you see Gentry changed back over to practice. Save those changes. Changes saved confirmation. Okay. 
down here what you see flashing tutorial 2 is the name of my league or my save and this is the schedule for the upcoming day or uh, probably day maybe week all right now what do we notice up here that's different remember we talked about this in the, the very first or second video the double arrows here are grayed out so we no longer are using those to advance at this point the basketball has turned blue so that's now our advance so what we want to get into here uh, do we want to dial back the practice plan do we want to change anything you can still change this week to week during the season okay I typically put it in and forget about it I'm sure if you get more uh, retentive about being diligent in doing that it probably has some benefits but I'd leave it alone uh, personally um, all right you remember we talked about depth charts before now we're gonna get more into the depth charts in this one and uh, the rotation because this is gonna basically be your week-to-week -week, uh, process here don't forget you're still recruiting let's go back into recruiting key dates we have you know November 13th is letter of intent so over the next week we'll get any early LOIs but then we go right back into recruiting and that will continue all season long now look don't freak out about that and go man recruiting's just dragging out the very first couple of weeks yeah it's pretty detailed and takes a while because you're, you're going through every player you're de deciding who your call list is gonna be but as you get down look go into that recruiting screen Oh, I was already there close out hide any committed people and signed people okay boom you know that's gonna get rid of anybody that's that's already signed uh, and and is not uh, looking at your team um, in fact that that guy that was number 60 signed somewhere else okay now by this time I would have been watching film on all these guys um, you know, I, I would have done all, been doing all that. I, you know, but now that they've signed, what else can I do? Anybody? Do you remember? Well, yeah, I don't have 50 people anymore, so I can go add more people to my call list, right? There you go. So, you know, now you can start updating for this second stretch of recruiting. It doesn't take as much time as you get into the season. Pretty much from the beginning of recruiting to now is, you know, that's that it does take a while each week. The farther in you get, the less time it takes, okay? Uh, so let's get into the season. We want to come back up to depth. Now, remember I said you cannot do the AI suggest here. What you can do here is you can click on one, click on another, and it will change these guys around, right? there you go now if you go to rotation that again gives you the option to get the AI to suggest both your depth chart and your sub matrix okay so and again you don't click on the words that won't work you click on the computer icon and that saves automatically and we'll go from there Okay, so we can go back to depth chart now. There's all my guys. Now then you can fine tune anything you want. Again, I should have redshirted some people. I didn't, but that's okay. If you want their playing time changed, you do that over here on the sub out. You can view lineups. We don't have any because we haven't played any games. Strategy is our practice and our offensive and defensive strategies this really had to be set before you start right when you start started practice six weeks ago because now it's too late this is what you're going with now here's where we can now dial in let's go to the schedule now we don't have a scouting report yet so let's generate one all right 
and I'm going to play and sim the day. Should have done the week, but we're going to do the day. All right, let's do the week. We have it set up to stop on any action emails or human injuries. So we're just going to let these games play. These are all computer games anyway. You start seeing some scores popping up at the bottom with your high scores and assist leaders. And you notice the bars filling up. Well, remember, I simmed a week, so this action bar is for the whole week. So we're about halfway through the week, and now we got here. Now, here's the thing. You can play this out 2D. You can where you actually call plays and you get involved. You can play GameCast, which I believe is where you just watch the game transpire, but you you still watch the game. I don't play either one of those. I, I'm a simmer, so I cancel. And you notice the blue tick box right next to my game with VCU. All right, I'm gonna uncheck that, and now when I hit play sim week it will play through this game and continue the week until my next game so every time I have a game it'll stop just like it did here I'll have the little blue tick box and I can turn that off I wish there was a way to um, turn that off all the time but you know this isn't a whole, huge deal because normally what I do is I like to sim a week at a time and then go back and look at my schedule, evaluate the box scores, and, and, and I'm done. Okay. Now, real quick, let's go home. And I did not get... Huh. I did not get uh, a scouting report. I wonder if it's because I changed coaches right at that moment. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, we're we we're gonna uncheck the box. You see, I came, I left, and I came back. It rechecks automatically. So I'm gonna uncheck it, play sim, and there's the end of the week. Okay. Now I can go to my schedule. There's my result. I can do that here. I can do that here. I can scroll back and find my game, and I can hit the box score here. There's a lot of different ways to find that. The easiest way for me is schedule. There we are. Uh, an opponent recap. Uh, Texas Arlington is 1-1 one one with an RPI of 322. Our next game is against Loyola Marymount. And their last three games, or actually our last three games, we've only played one, was a 70-52 to 52 win over Texas Arlington right here. I can click on, I can double click that, it'll load our box score. Now, no game's perfect in what they show. Sometimes you'd like to see more things, sometimes you'd like to see less things. I like what they do. There's a few more things that I would like here, but, you know, it is what it is. I would like to see the totals done up where the percentages are here, to where I don't have to scroll down. Not a huge deal. Is that a game breaker? Of course not. You know, it's just something I, that I would consider a personal preference. Okay. But we can see uh, scores. Uh, we can see uh, final. We can see lead changes. So basically, we had the lead from, you know, the, they got the first lead. We took the lead and we were never tied. And then that was it. We never trailed except for evidently the opening bucket. Uh, 18 points in the paint. Second chance points, fast break points, largest lead. Um, what are some, you know, you have your player of the game. What are some things that I would like to see? Maybe extend this out to the right margin and have your leading scorers, uh, leading rebounders, uh, you know, what have you. Again, is that a game break or no? That's sheer aesthetics. OK, but here's where you analyze your, your game, field goals made, field goals attempted. If you scroll down, 
if you scroll down you can see we shot 16 of or they shot 16 of 49 which is 32.7 percent we shot 22 of 60 36.7 percent 5 of 21 from three-point range 5 of 19 21 of 30 from the free throw line now remember I did not go in and ultra analyze my team I'm gonna say we're probably not very good three-point shooters and too many you know if you take those out we're 17 17 of 49 still not real good but you know maybe a little bit better shooting percentage so maybe we are better inside than we are outside um, you know and so again you have to reevaluate that let's check our emails we didn't get any but we, let's you know this is where you could go into your roster you can look at the ratings uh, you know your depth chart you know there's your stats um, game started all right so if you actually sort it that way Cade Beck Leonard Mutal all right so it actually sorts out that way your starters I could actually look all right you know now jumpers scoring okay so he's got a good jumper but not a good score good jumper not a good score you know so you have to analyze these guys and go okay you know hey what's the deal here okay he can shoot the outside shot you know now I can see what's what his stats are five points per game um, is there a rate of oh, player stats right here it shows you his shoot chart what I'm trying to find out right here is and it's probably just under plain stats yep is three pointers all right so three points made three points attempted two of eight one of five one of four okay so maybe I want to come into my strategy and my offensive strategy and I want to favor inside and maybe my guys are not as good so what did this tell us in the tip set your sets higher if you want a more structured offense so we're gonna dial that up if you change one watch that again 50 50 I'm gonna only change one it automatically changes the other one for you okay nowhere to save on here so you don't have to save it's automatically done alright so we're good so this is your basic week to week go to home check your email you'll probably get a scouting report at some point uh, you should um, I don't know why I didn't get one that week or the this week but it is what it is um, hit the little ball and then again do you wanna play you know if you want to play every game out you can actually scroll ahead find your game or you could go to schedule and say okay when's our next game November 19th well I completely overlooked that game because it wasn't checked there it is right there all right so it'll check itself for you automatically believe me it'll do that um, I can sim to that date now because I only chose the 19th this bar is only three days instead of a full week so the 17th now the 18th so 17th was midway there we are we're up to this day if you want to play other games you can click the box and play other games like I said I don't do one let me check real quick my email we did not get a scouting report again so just to make sure yep yeah, we've got our coaches assigned so we should be getting scouting uh, reports but don't know why we're not so again it's it's you know come in and check your 
uh, oh, it's roster, injuries, nobody's hurt. So you have to check that pretty much every game. I want to get set my depth chart. Well, even though I'm in my roster or depth, I've got to go to rotation, AI suggest. So that's a little cumbersome. That's why I think it needs to be uh, in the depth chart page, right? You know, add a third button here. I, I just think that would be, be smooth. You know, it would be right there. Um, get back in. And if you want to play the game in 2D or whatever, you, you, you click it there. If you don't, let's just play sim and we're good. So now we're only doing a day, so it's just, it, the whole bar is just one day. We're at the end of the week, so we're running practice, recruiting again. Remember, you should have done your recruiting there. You have new mail. All right. Let's go back. There we are, 8366. Open the box score. Ten lead changes, six ties. Player of the game was our center, Tony Miller. Uh, we were the away team. Uh, let's see, one of three, two of seven. Tony Miller was three of seven. He went 11 of 12 on free throws. He had four rebounds, three defensive, one offensive. Ended up with 17 points and was a plus 12 for the game. Mike Hansen was a plus 10 for the game coming off the bench. You can tell that because the five guys with positions are starters. Anybody without positions are backups off the bench. Now, he came in, played, uh, got a plus 10, played 18 minutes, got 14 points, three boards, five of nine shooting, four of five from the foul line. We shot 48.8% this game. Now, was that just better shooting? Was that because we tweaked it to a favor inside? Don't know. Now, they shot better against us, too. Uh, you know, we shot, you know, you notice we shot less threes this time because we moved from balanced to favor inside. So, you know, that's how you can kind of control. If your team's not shooting threes well, dial it back. You know, but you also have to look at who your opponent is. Are they going to be weak on the perimeter and open up more, more uh, three-point opportunities? Are they weak in, in the interior and you can press the action in the paint? Uh, do they have a center that fouls a lot? You know, maybe you want to drive and get him out of the game early and, you know, get to the line a lot and get in the double bonus, things of that nature. So there's a lot to take in, and it's basically just doing this either game to game, week to week, you know, whatever. There's our scouting report. What's a scouting report? Let's take a look. We click on it. Now, you notice a lot of things that we've clicked on, these little action buttons were blank like this. Well, now we have an op option that says View Report. So, we're playing Toledo in an upcoming game. They run a slow-paced offense, a lot of offensive freedom baskets. They sport an outside attack in the half court, and their primary set is the shuffle. They rarely press. They play a 1-2-2 two, two zone and they play a full court man-to-man -man when they press. Here's their starters. Uh, this is uh, this is their team. This is our team. So they have the edge at point. We've got the edge at the two guard. They've got the edge at small forward. We've got the edge at power forward. Equal in the, in the, at the five spot. And we're projected to have the better bench. Okay? No point spreads or anything, but then you can come in. Robinson, you know, they give individual scouting reports. So you can take this information and go, huh, you know, do I need to change what I'm doing? So a slow-paced attack, a lot of offensive freedom baskets. Do we want to press against that? You know, do we want to, okay, so they sport an outside attack. Well, let's go into strategy, defense. Okay, um, you know, a 1-2-2 two, two zone, defending teams that shoot well from the outside. All right, so maybe we want to, uh, you know, maybe that's what we want to do this game. Now, unfortunately, there's not a way to dial your defense 
all we could do is change this that we would want to say play a higher zone rather than man to man if that's you know we could change that to 40 percent zone 60 percent man you know that's what you could do um, now let's go back to the scouting report on defense they rarely press their primary defense is a one two two zone so what does that do well on defense a one two two zone defends teams that shoot well from the outside but you can score from the high post and corners okay now we just went to a favor inside right maybe we want to heavily favor the inside this time right maybe that'll be our game plan let's see how it does let's go to our game we're going to sim the week now we only did one day so uh, I don't think we have any emails so let's come in and do another week Now again now you see the bar fills up slower because it has seven days that are part of that bar rather than one day or two days but it will stop when it's our game so you can do this even if you want to play your games out you can still do this how are we doing on time we're right up against it so I think this will be the last day um, okay now hold on cancel schedule okay I think we did not get these because we had switched coaches remember that scouting report that we got was for Toledo right so we're gonna you're gonna get these a little ahead of time he's basically out on the road doing evaluation so you have to keep that in mind let's go back to a favor inside for this game just because we didn't see a Clemson scouting report okay uh, uncheck our box because all I want to do is sim and I want to sim the day well, actually I can still sim the week it'll stop at our next game if we play another game this week if not it'll go all the way now I can already tell we lost that game because we're now 2-1 and one instead of 2-0 and oh. Clemson's a team ACC we probably should have lost all right we do have another game this week that was the last day of the week so that's why it stopped so quick you have new mail and there we go all right now we should have some more scouting reports well we got Toledo so we already have that so I would keep these until after that game you can go you know because you'll want to go back and make those adjustments but now you can go break down a and T Toledo if we look at that we play them next so now's where we would want to go in and say okay for Toledo I definitely want to heavily favor inside and be ready for that game let's come look at our schedule so we lost to Clemson this week check out their box score uh, we shot 41 percent they shot 53 uh, they had 29 uh, I'm sorry 39 rebounds to our 28 we had 11 turnovers to their 10 you know so you can read the stats to, to whatever you want to do um, and then we beat Arkansas uh, we shot 53 to their 40 percent so that's that's basically your season now recruiting is still going on if you have scholarships left so as long as you have scholarships left make sure you're going into recruiting every week all right that's why you'll never send more than a week to make sure you come in and do your recruiting recruiting happens all the way until the NCAA tournament on April 9th and even all the way through April when the National Signing Day occurs. So you'll want to pay attention 
to that. Okay. Uh, I think we've covered everything because everything from here is basically a rinse and repeat. So, you know, you continue to do your recruiting every week. If you have scholarships, uh, continue to evaluate your scouting reports, make your changes on your strategy, right? Come in and check your, uh, on your roster, check your injuries. If you have to uh, change anybody, uh, if you want to change your depth chart, oh, right, we can't go there. We've got to go to rotation and AI suggest, okay? Um, you know, dial in any changes that you want. You know, do you have a guy that's a better inside guy and you're going to favor inside? Maybe that's the guy that you want. Um, you know, so, uh, you you know, here's where you can see your stats for the for the season so far. You know, Mutal's got 15 points a game, uh, 4.5 rebounds a game. So he's doing pretty well. Uh, he is one of our better players. Uh, you know, your power forward, 6.3 rebounds, 10.8 points. So, you know, take the stats for however much you like those, but it's, it's basically recruit, check injuries here, set your depth chart with the, you know, if you want to use the AI that's under rotation or go into the depth chart and use the double, cl the click and click method, which it tells you up here with your tip. Okay. And then go in back in and, and play the next game until the season's done. And then we basically start all over again. Okay. So this will be the last video in the tutorial. I don't think there's anything else to show you. I mean, we've covered, you know, how to go through these screens, how to set your depth charts, uh, how to look at players. Evaluating your player rating should be self-explanatory. Um, yeah, so there's really nothing else. And then once the season ends, right, what are we going to be? We're going to be right back at the preseason where we're going to buy the scouting reports. And for that, go back to video number two. And that'll start the whole process over again. So I think that gets us through a whole, you know, basically everything you will have to touch in the course of a season. We've gone into a lot of depth and detail in a lot of things. So, uh, you know, hopefully these videos are really good resources. Hopefully somebody gets some use out of them. Hopefully you, if you've taken the time to watch them. Thanks for checking them out. Give the game a shot. Get the demo if you have not tried it already. It's free. F-R-E-E. -E, free demo. Give it a try. Uh, it's a quality game, guys. Uh, it, it's fun to play. Um, it's challenging. And like I said, if you, if you went through the coach setup, and you know, the coach setup especially, you can really tweak it to be as easy or as hard as you want. There's the you know, the the recruiting difficulty, there's the coach's ability, and, you know, then it's just like real life. You know, after you've coached a few years, a handful of years, you're going to see that your ratings go up. You know, you're going to get a bump to your abilities, and you saw how I used the custom ratings. They'll cap out at whatever your cap was for your potential. Um you know, so so there's there's difficulty of you know levels within the game that you can tweak as well. Um, I can't think of anything else to say or cover. So you know, roll the balls out, play some hoops, guys. Uh, thanks to Wolverine for a great game. Uh, thanks to uh, the guys at Wolverine for being so open to uh, input uh, from their fans, from the people that buy their games. Um, you know, and that's why I made some suggestions on here that, you know, I think there's a few tweaks, but I mean, what, I made maybe three suggestions for a whole game. That's not bad. Uh, you know, so that tells me the game's pretty close to, you know, being dialed in, you know. Um, is it different from other games? Sure. Does it make it better or worse? It, it, you know, that is what it is. But once you get used to certain things, it becomes second nature. Um, 
you know, so just get in and play, give it a shot, um, you know, and again, you know, the ability to, to fast sim like I was doing, the ability to go in and watch the game happen, the ability to go in and actually coach from the sideline in the 2D. Um, so there's three gameplay, you know, three ways you can gameplay. Um, just, there's just a lot to the game. Uh, so, you know, enjoy it. And uh, like I said, if you love hoops or if you just like sport games, give it a shot. You know, play the demo, see what you think about it, and, uh, you know, and give it a shot. Thanks for checking out the tutorials, guys. Hope they help. Take care. We'll see you next time.